says it all. That community from all over. We have Bell Park Man and Terrace here. We have people from Deepdale. We have people from Glen Oak Village. We have people from the Civic Association. North, North Belrose Civic, Rocky Hill Civic, Greenmore Civic. Civic associations that a lot of you probably don't even know exist. Queen Village. But these are the, the, the hardworking citizens and the backbone of the community. These are the people that really come out and make a difference and are working tirelessly. Let me just thank a few people for this round. When I first heard that the store was closing, I heard it from Bobby Sher. Bobby Sher is the president of Bell Park Manor Terrace. And when he told me that it was closing, we thought that we have to put together a rally because we need to show the community that we will accept nothing other than a supermarket here. I want to also acknowledge Lauren Schneider who helped draw up some of the signs, put some of the signs up, and a lot of the signs that you guys are holding. I also want to acknowledge the Bell Park Manor Terrace Board of Directors who were gracious enough to put out 800, maybe even a thousand flyers throughout the community to make sure that everyone knew what was going on. I also get the same way he's worked hard making Bell Park Manor Terrace what it is than Bobby Share. So I want to bring up Bobby Share to say a few words to the community here. Let's give him a hand. I don't want to tell that. Thank you very much, Bob. Uh, first of all, I really want to thank all the people that are here today. It doesn't surprise me that we have such a large turnout. I, I expected it, and all of you came through. And how is that be? I guess they came through. It's a nice day. It's a nice sunny day. Um, I, uh, I actually want to thank how it came to my attention. Bob mentioned that I, I brought it to his attention. How it came to my attention came from two of my board members. So uh, I want to thank Debbie Kleiman and Jim Haynes. I then ran with it. And uh, I guess I have a little bit of a reputation. I like to be quite an assertive person. And uh, I'll take that, aggressive. It's okay with me. As long as the results are favorable. Uh, speaking a little bit on a, uh, on a personal note, as a young boy growing up here in Bell Park Manor Terrace, one would never, there was always a supermarket here. There's been a supermarket here for practically 60 years, and I'm not 60 years old. And sometimes the small things in life we take for granted. Can you picture not having this supermarket here? A long time a very effective legislator. I would like to introduce someone else to you. Frank Tadavik. Yeah. Yeah. Frank, Frank, who happens to be a supporter of mine in my run for the city council, does so because he understands, as I do, that community issues are neither Democrat nor Republican. The food dynasty is not a Democrat supermarket. It's not a Republican supermarket. It's a supermarket that this community needs. And as a Democrat myself, I was under a lot of pressure not to support Frank because he's a Republican. But I actively supported Frank in his election because I have always voted for the person, not the party. Frank has been a part of this community. He has been the foundation of this community. Every community leader that is here today, and I know a lot of you, knows that every time that we've reached out to Frank, he has always, always been there. He's always been there to help us, to do whatever he can. And even if it's not in his district, and even if it's not a state matter, he's there to help that's us. Right, that's, that's right, that's right. He's a man of passion Woo. about the community. So I am tired, just like you are, of all the constant political bickering. Enough is enough. I want to introduce our newly proclaimed state senator once again. Yes! At the 14th time of the Woo. Our state senator, Frank Madigan. President Bob, President Bob. We got two presidents named Bob. Yeah. 
and they're working together for our benefit, and it's just fantastic. This community has been fighting battles for decades. And I'll tell you just about one or two. Bell Park Manor was built, and many of you were here then, for veterans returning from the war. It was a veterans co-op. But the community after a while said, we want to own our apartments. We don't want to have to be beholden to the state of New York for everything we do in living in these homes. And so Mark's father and I introduced legislation that converted the Veterans Co-op to owners. So everybody owned their apartment and they got it for a very good price. On it. So that was a battle we won for this community. And that's a long time ago, but I've been around a long time. East County. <laughs> now you could travel along the avenue here. We fought a battle to keep the Little League fields. They wanted to take that away. We fought a battle, we fought a big battle to keep the Queen's Farm Museum. They wanted to take that away. For the Rita housing, senior senior housing on the on the street more. You could just travel along this avenue and run after the other. You will see the results of how this community the community planning board, the civic organizations, the residents banded together and together we accomplished what we set out to do. Not one failure, everyone was successful, without exception. And this one will be as well. Yes. Now you've heard some of the reports. We've been in contact with the owners, with their attorney, and uh, as of recently as Thursday afternoon, the negotiations are apparently underway. We're not at the table. Unfortunately, we, we don't have that prerogative of sitting there between the owner and the supermarket. But since they are talking, and we've made our position quite clear in terms of what the outcome would be, I think we can be somewhat optimistic. And I would share Bob's view that it's unthinkable that we won't succeed. But if it's not the supermarket, but it better be another supermarket. Yeah. 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 Bob told me about the situation over in Douglaston. That was on the line, and we're going to convert it to a Best Buy. And the community rose up, and with involving many of us, we prevented that from happening. And now a new supermarket's coming in there, bigger and better than the one that's leaving. So we succeeded in a very similar situation and we'll succeed here. If we have to stay together, if we have to come out here on another day and do this again, we'll do it. We will stay on top of the situation with every uh, way we can. We'll bring to bear whatever authority and uh, influence we can apply uh, to get a successful outcome. For all the civic leaders, all of you I love and know and know the years and the community planning board and our, all our presidents and just about everybody here Thank you very much. You're always there when we need you. God bless.